Howdy folks, having a troller here, back with more escape velocity. We are now tasked with trying to locate the aliens in the vicinity of the Trugati asteroid belt. Hmm, bit of a puzzle. Um, well, let's bring our map, come on, there you go. Where might they be, dear viewer? Uh, well checked by the asteroid belt. I mean, come on. Uh, so we're going to hop down this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. I like it. Now, um, we have very strict instructions not to engage the aliens. Duly noted. Quickly forgotten. I might make a little run at them. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to make a concerted effort to kill them. I might you know, take a little stab at it. Why not? Alright, so... They said near the Trugati asteroid belt, right? Well, this isn't that near, but I'm gonna keep my eyes open. Right, near the Trugati asteroid belt, so... It could be in the belt, but we're gonna check that first and then kind of expand our search out from there. We've got the usual jackasses following us. system is Liberty Station. I'm a little bit nervous about, well, I guess I'm not fighting them yet. I'm just trying to locate them. But fuel will come in handy because I intend on using my particle beam if I have to fight them. So, but they're not here. Okay. So we'll go into these empty systems here. We have any luck? Uh, kind of nervous, folks. Like, well, I don't mean to spoil things, but I've encountered the aliens uh, before, and uh, they're worth being nervous about. I'll tell you that much. After all, I mean, they they nearly. Uh, exterminated humanity. They're a pretty powerful species. Ships are amazing. But I've, you know, played the game before a little bit. I, I'm acquainted with their abilities and they're not to be trifled with. Although, <laughs> I guess I did kind of allude to trifling with them. Okay, so this next system, if they're in there, You know what? I'm just gonna hang out here for a second. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just floating extremely close to you, sir. Oh, that's gotta hurt. But not as bad as this. Uh, okay. 16%. Damn it. Alright. Um, shoot. Well, we're gonna go back to Agena then. Actually, we're gonna go up here to El Santo. There was a space station in this system, but it has no fuel. It's a listening post, so we're just gonna keep going. The proton bolts that that uh, rebel was firing reminded me of something. It was a point that was raised by someone in the comments that um, they were kind of 
confused as to why I like to use lasers versus, um, well, let's see if the aliens are here. Okay, laser uh, cannons versus proton cannons. It was based on something that I kind of misremembered, as it turns out. My impression from playing before was that proton bolts, ooh, hang on. Here. My impression from before was that proton bolts do uh, less damage but are faster and shoot faster <laughs> than. Uh... Let me let me focus on the task at hand here, folks. Stop it! Stop it! I'm so terrible at boarding things in this. Now that we're on the, the newer Mac, I cannot, for the life of me, get the fucking keys to work right. God damn it. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay, let's let's talk about proton bolts while we uh, avoid certain doom. Oh, and there's a uh, rebel cruiser here, too. That's not great. Um, so my, my memory was that proton bolts do less damage but are faster and faster to shoot, so... Uh, they might technically be a little bit better overall um, than laser cannons and turrets, but they use a lot more space, so I, I prefer not to use them. Turns out that uh, my memory of that is incorrect, or at least as it relates to the facts. And let's land here, first of all. Get out of immediate danger. Um, I went and dug into ResEdit a little bit and checked out the actual, I don't want to say code, but the resource forks for some of the different attributes in the game. And it turns out that weapons have two damage um, properties, mass damage and energy damage. Laser cannons have a mass damage of two and an energy damage of ten, which I think may relate to how much they hurt shields, I don't know. Shields versus hull. Not 100% on that, though. Whereas, um, so, like, a laser cannon does 2 and 10, but a proton cannon does 10 and 10. Just, uh, well, 2 and 10 would be how you'd want to hold your steering wheel, I guess. 10 and 10 would be an asinine way to hold your steering wheel. Be weird. Um, I was trying to make a dad joke, and it was just a bad joke. So, anyways, um... <laughs> It, it, it appears that, um, oh, and also the other thing too is that proton cannons and uh, turrets are actually slower than lasers. Uh, so I was wrong on that account too. They may have a higher rate of fire though. I can't remember exactly. Cause I think that their rate of fire was like the property for it was higher. The number was higher, but I don't know if that meant like the amount of delay between shots or if that was like the rate of fire. You know what I mean? The uh, the denominator versus the numerator, if you will, if you will. So, um, I have evaluated it a little bit, and I think, though, that the problem is really that by using proton cannons and turrets, you are giving, you're using a lot more space, because a proton cannon is eight tons versus five tons for a laser cannon, and a proton turret, I believe what is it 20 versus 15 and those tons that you could that you're using for the the proton weapons could perhaps be used for um, things like missiles and torpedoes which it's dependent on your playstyle frankly based on how I play I like to go and mug people with my lasers <laughs> uh, whether or not that's a good way to play though that's a different question um, Probably not, really, but uh, we've never been to the system before, by the way. We're a criminal, nevertheless. Uh, we're going to get out of here. But I thought that that was, uh, was kind of interesting and, um, you know, just goes to show you, you still have things to learn about games that you've uh, played over the years. I think from here we're going to go to Pollux. Or should we go to Ursa? Did we come in through Pollux? I think we did. 
Let's go to Ursa. Son of a bitch. No. Burns my ass. You and your proton bolts. You and your misuse of your ship's tonnage. I didn't know how good I had it with that, uh, that other sh um, Rebel cruiser in my fleet. Um, I burned through a lot of fuel, so I'm actually going to go to Tiber. That was unnecessary. <laughs> oh boy. That particle beam... No. I don't know if I like it. It does do a decent amount of damage, but it's, uh... It comes at great expense to fuel, and I'm not sure that it's worth it. Port Oread. I could haggle them down, but I'm worried that they'll say, uh, no, get that. Okay, so we'll go that way. I feel like I went through it, Hara. I don't remember. They're also more expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's not not a major issue, but... Huh. I don't know. It's That's a tough one. Another tough one that I've been thinking about is space bombs for reasons that will probably come up later. <laughs> Okay, chump. Oh, I missed him completely. And you, sir. I want your body. I don't know why I have to make it weird. Whoops. No! <laughs> percent capture rods has not served me ever since. Um, well, I'll tell you what. We'll make the jump to Ursa. We actually have quite a bit of fuel. We can make it to Pollux pretty easily. I don't know, though. Like, they're not in... We went. Did we go through Edhara? We'll come, I guess we'll go through there, and then... I don't know. We've explored the asteroid belt. I feel like it's got to be in one of these systems coming up. It would be, you know what, I bet that they're in the next system. Because why would, you know, if they're in a habited system, I think that attention would be called to them pretty quickly. There you go. <laughs> oh god, okay. So, alien fighters. Let's talk turkey. You can see that they have a terrifying purple laser that they shoot. Um, which isn't the worst thing in the world. They're, they're not... That, that hurts. I mean, you can see, that hurts. I didn't like it. But, um, ow. But they also have Seeker drones, which you saw it shoot one of those red uh, projectiles, and uh, it did not, uh, those do not feel good. You don't want those. Now, the problem with the, oh, God. And see, look at how little damage I did. I didn't make very many hits, but you can see, not only did I do a pathetic amount of damage, shields almost immediately recharge. Um, terrifying. These things are not easy to deal with. The trick to them, really, is that you have to stay behind them. As for how easy that is to do, um, in some circumstances, it is actually easy to do, but there are circumstances that I don't think I can achieve. I'm going to run away. And there's a minor beta. 
Oh wait, I guess I need to go to Saul. One, two, three, four. I actually would have been interesting for them or to hang out and watch to see if that fighter engaged the, um, the, the Confederates or the rebels that were in that system. We could try to see what happens with that. I mean, they had a little bit of a encounter with the defenders there. That was nothing. Right? So that thing right there, that thing hurts a lot. So you don't want to touch that. Or do you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to touch that. <laughs> but the big problem is that they're so fast. Like, you can't really outmaneuver them. Look at how quickly he uh, his RCS works. Look at how quickly he catches up to me. For academic purposes. Look at that. I have to be constantly hitting him with missiles in order for him to, to make to get any kind of uh, damage done to him. did kind of make, okay, so I don't know what happened there exactly, but he did kind of, kind of lose the plot a little bit. I'm going to get out of here though, I can't, I can't really go up and up with this guy. Ow, 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 <laughs> preemptive owls, I could tell that that would, would have hurt. <laughs> oh no, boy, I don't like our chances here, folks, this is going to be really tough. We'll deliver the good news to Admiral Sykes. See what he wants us to do. I don't think I'm gonna like it. Well done. Admiral Sykes greets you as you guys get your ship. We now know what we're dealing with. An alien battle cruiser. An eight well Well, I guess that the fighter implies the presence of a battle cruiser. It's unusual that it would be out there on its own. We did not see the battle cruiser. You'll know it when you see it, dear viewer. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> um, we know what we're dealing with. An alien battle cruiser that was missing and presumed destroyed, which we think has been hiding out on the edge of explored space since the end of the war. We're throwing together whatever ships we can to fight this alien menace. I'll meet you in the bar when I know more. Admiral Sykes looks a bit out of place in the spaceport bar. Captain, you're not a Navy officer, so I can't order you to accept this mission. However, you're the best hope we've got, so I'm asking you, will you help us eliminate the aliens? Well, you know... Listen, Sykes. Um, I've... I didn't come into this galaxy here to save anybody came here to save money, make imprudent purchases, get killed in hilarious ways, um, and just have some laughs, have some good times. I'm not into this um, saving the galaxy business. It's not It's not part of my, my oeuvre. It's not part of my essence. It's not a... It's, it's just not me, really, at the end of the day, so I'm going to have to say no. Oh, but I can tell by the look on your face, you were really hoping for that. And, you know, here's the thing. is You guys have been very generous with your monetary compensation. I appreciate that. I haven't forgotten that. You guys have treated me very nicely overall, um, I guess, kind of, mostly, um, in as much as anybody treats me well in this stupid galaxy. Um and I get the feeling that if I don't do this, that they're going to probably make business really tough. That they're going to make uh, trade impossible because everyone's going to be dead, you know? And that's bad. We don't want that. So, oh boy. Psycho. I like it. I'm going to do it. Outstanding. I knew you'd do it, the Admiral says. 
We've managed to free up a cruiser of the USS Agamemnon from the from deep space patrol duty to act as a military escort for you. Long range probes whoa careful there. Indicate that the aliens have moved from where you've spotted them, possibly toward the Trugati asteroid belt. Dozens of ships like these laid waste to entire planets during the Great War. I'm sure I don't need to tell you the threat this this one represents to the human race. Locate the alien battle cruiser and terminate with extreme prejudice. Let's not let's not bring our prejudices into this, man. Let's go in, eyes open, hearts open, and just do the best we can. All right? And he wishes us good luck. We're kind of need it. Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to Stardock Alpha first because I need to buy missiles. Because I senselessly wasted them. Question, though, is whether or not I should be using missiles or torpedoes. It's a really fine question I've stumped myself with. Um... I don't have a good answer to that. If I was quick on the draw, I could alternate between the two and um, diminish the enemy's ability to kind of recover their shield capacity. But what keeps happening is I hit them with the, the particle beam, which isn't great. Let's try it um, just going with what we know which isn't much, <laughs> but um, proton cannons, proton turrets, we're going to leave that aside for now. Um, I'm going to land on Luna real quick. Oh, for God's sakes. That wood mission, it's it's really it's it's a great mission because it just takes us oh well, there's nothing here that I want I wanted to hire an escort wink wink nudge nudge and um, no dice there's nothing good there okay so we need to track down the battle cruiser and they said towards the Trugati asteroid belt so I guess that that's where we're going uh All right. Should we do it? Well, actually, let's go to Castor. That's where we were able to find them last. So. If we locate them, I'm tempted to bug out and consider some, some alternative assistance here. Um, one problem that I'm now realizing we do have this Confederate cruiser tailing us, which is nice. It's a nice gesture. But I tell you what, um, he's not going to last that long against the aliens. He really isn't. And what would be helpful is to have a bunch of really good escorts, by which I mean rebels. And if I have this guy tailing me, he's going to attack every rebel that he sees. Are they here? Not here. So let's go here. And then I guess there. Hmm. So I won't be able to probably get. Well, it will be very difficult to get uh, rebel destroyers as escorts. It's difficult, first of all, because of the statistical challenge. Um, I mean, we could just try to time this nicely. Why don't we do that? Why don't we see if we can get one here? This is a, a decent opportunity. So he's engaging who? Nobody really. He's just getting hit by missiles. 
which is what I'm talking about. Um, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes again. Good job. jump to Thanos. I mean... I don't know. Maybe this mission will turn out to be a snap. Snap. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. First of all, first of all, there's no aliens here. There is another Rebel Destroyer, though. And I have enough fuel to jump back. So... That's what we're gonna do. That's a boy. A little boysy. Hey. I'm walking here. Okay, so just don't touch him. You son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go to El Santo. How frustrating. Oh, hey. That was a nice, fresh feeling we got there. Alright, fine. Offer a bribe. Okay, let's see if they're in this system. It's gonna be so difficult to get rebels on our side or rebels in our fleet. I should have been doing that before. Here. <laughs> like just spinning around in space. C1091. Is this our lucky number? Does not appear so. Fortunately, we can go to Liberty Station here. So nothing on the left hand side of the asteroid belt. Imagine that they're in an uninhabited system. Again, because it would be pretty obvious and we would get that in our briefing. Oh, yeah, they're in this system because people saw them there. I just jumped immediately, but fortunately it turns out they're, they're not even there anyway, so not worry about it. Okay. Fascinating. We'll refuel, presuming the aliens aren't here. Okay, well. So I guess that he said towards the. Well, was it towards it like he said before? I'm confused. I was presuming that they would be here. Let's try that. And if they're not there, maybe they're ensconced in this system here or there, maybe, but... a fleet of six rebel destroyers would make this considerably easier, but it's probably not to be. Speaking of, 
it. Greenbeard. Ah. You old scoundrel. Oh, he's got torpedoes. Hey, buddy. You know what? That's actually, you know. Listen. But oh, damn it. the other option is to hire escorts. I don't remember if there's anywhere that I can hire a Kestrel. That might be worth checking here in Privateer's Haven. Um, if the aliens are there, then I'll just continue through. So let's actually just plot the course. And if they're here, then we'll just get them before we go. It will be fabulously expensive, though. Right here. Go to Lethe. Corvette wouldn't be the worst. But they're just not very durable. They won't last long in a fight against those aliens. And I believe you can hire them as escorts pretty easily. Okay, there's nothing here. We're gonna go into Privateer's Haven, I guess. Oh. So that's a million, a million credits. <laughs> In theory, um, I can hire six of them. It's the most that you can hire. The problem though is that the daily fees of that will be gone out of my pockets very quickly. So I don't think I can even do that. I don't think I can afford that. Um, however, if they're here, I don't have to afford it for very long. The other thing, too, is that I don't need... Well, let's see if they're here, first of all. Let's stay focused. Oh, you. Guys, 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 guys. <laughs> Who would have thought that that would be so terrifyingly painful? Escort carriers are not ideal for this purpose, but uh, really, what is ideal here? This whole situation is not ideal. One, two, and three. I don't know what to do now, because, I mean, I guess I could be in this system, but it says toward the Trigani Asteroid Belt. We've checked that system out. Check that system out, because we thought, oh, I thought, because I'm a genius, thank you, that um, maybe they were in the same system that they were sighted in before. I mean, it could be that they're here, but I don't know, that doesn't make sense. None of this makes sense. They should have been here somewhere, but um, I guess we just have to expand our search. 
So uh, to that end, we'll go here. I will refuel, wait, how many jumps do I have? Five, one, two, three, four. I'll jump into Aries then. Refuel. Um, I don't know though, that just, the whole thing seems kind of hokey. And then, I mean, they could be to the west. I don't know. Oh god. I'm having such a hard time boarding. How fast this computer is. Capture. Okay, well, we'll get out of here. I mean, I guess it would, could be that they have already moved on. Maybe the, the, the logic. Also, I don't know if you said we think that they've moved there. Let's check here, though. This is... Empty system. Oh, wait. Yeah, we already have been through here. Okay, well, let's just keep going to Aries, then. Man. We'll see if they have... Kestrels for hire here too. Um, is it war? Oh, Lethe is attacking. Um, I'm a little bit busy, is the problem. Um, rapiers are actually an interesting proposal because they're not as expensive. They do pack a wallop, but they're also just not very durable, is the problem. Um, they're more durable than a lightning, I believe. 35 and 15, let's check. 25 and 5, yeah, they're, they're a little bit more robust. Not that it matters a ton, though, when it comes to the aliens. They will just absolutely wreck your shit. I don't know. Um, damn. I don't really... I don't really feel like that's the move. Okay, well, we're refueled. Do we have any... Okay, we're good for ammo. Okay, well, let's plot our course to check out this system here. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. I wish, I wish that I had... I wish I had that Rebel Destroyer from before, and even that Corvette, but... Oh, shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Alright, well we've got a save from relatively uh, recently, so I'm just gonna give this the old college try. He's way over here. Why, why are we doing that? Oh god. Hang on. He's a lot slower than I remember. Look <laughs> at how he's shaped. I can stay up range of him. No, 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 no. Oh god. This is where this is where the pain comes in. Once his friends start to decide that they wanna help him out. that I killed him? These guys are way more dangerous! <laughs> like, are you kidding me? With this nice maneuverable ship, I mean, it's like nothing. It's like we're nothing at all. Who's fighting who? What's, what's happening? absolutely wrecking stuff. I don't know who he's fighting. Oh! What 
an interesting coincidence. He's not gonna have much of a problem dealing with the levels. You can see I'm having a hell of a time just keeping them in my sights. It's crazy. Hang on a second. Melting! Oh my god, I'm out of fuel too. Oh shit, okay. Look at that, look at how. Oh my god, they're shields. I just don't have the the, the fire to, to lay down. Well, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Doop, 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 doop. <laughs> Just gonna kinda hang out. Now we might discover something interesting about the game here as we uh, wait to accumulate fuel. Let's see if it happens. It might. We're not going to be able to kill those things. They're just too too resilient. They heal too quickly. As our rebel friend is discovering, look, he's getting a few hits in, but then he just has no luck. Aha! So as we've seen here, systems have an edge. <laughs> You can kind of go past them, but they, it's kind of like running into a wall of jello. Well, in that case, that was that was a little bit firm. Anyway. Whoa, whoa! Hi! Uh, how'd you catch me over here? Oh, it's because I hit the wall. Hey, um, fuck you guys. I'm leaving, and I'm going to put a big banner on my ship that says Mission Accomplished. <laughs> land at New France uh -huh. and go to Seoul <laughs> and see if, <laughs> see if I uh, did things the right way here. I I mean, from my point of view, no, I did not. <laughs> but from um, the point of view of the game, which is really the ultimate... Um, on my other screen here, folks, because I want to look something up that might be helpful. <laughs> the entire spaceport is buzzing with the news of your victory. Admiral Sykes. Um, hang on a second, I gotta get this window corrected. What's going on here? Admiral Sykes makes sure to congratulate you. We can't thank you enough, Captain. <laughs> he shouts, shaking your hand warmly. However, I will personally see to it that you receive adequate compensation for your valiant efforts, as well as the services of the Terran Naval Shipyards on Luna. I'll make sure you're, you're, you'll be able to purchase your own Confed warships again on behalf of the entire Confederation. I thank you. Whoa! <laughs> That's a lot of money. All right. I'll take that. Hey! Don't spoil my party. How dare you? Please come in here and unannounced. Unwanted.
right, let's check this out. Let's see what we have on there. Okay. We have the Confederate frigate. The Confederate cruiser, which is just out of reach. Um, truth be told, I you'd have to put a gun to my head to make me fly this thing. It is gigantic and slow. I hate it. Um, not to say that I'll never fly it. I'll give it a try. Um, the gunboat is honestly a great little ship. Um, it's not for us anymore, but it's fun. It's a fun little ship to fly around in. and um, It's not anywhere near as powerful as like a frigate for instance but it's it's interesting um so this is the only ship that holds my interest right now uh, as you can see it is lacking in some noticeable respects actually especially with regards to fuel i didn't actually know that it only had three jumps worth of fuel um which is a bit disappointing uh it has average acceleration average speed poor turning I would agree with all of that. Um, it has missile racks, it has a rocket launcher, um, torpedo launchers. It's very similar to the Rebel Destroyer, but it is slower. And that, to me, is kind of crucial. Um, as we saw, if you're able to outmaneuver your enemy, you can basically just obliterate them, in this particular game at least. And so, um, to me, the, the destroyer is the best ship in the game. Uh, the Rebel Cruiser is pretty good, but it also has the same deficiencies as a Confederate cruiser and being slow and everything. So, uh, having said that though, I did say I wanted to be a Confederate. Um, I didn't think that we would actually get to the point of killing the aliens in this video though, so I need to think of a good, um, good ship name. So I'll leave that for the next episode. Um, but basically, folks, we've kind of, I don't want to say beaten the game, but we've uh, beaten the toughest mission in the game, for sure. So um, the game is still completely open-ended. There's still some things I want to do with you, and uh, they're just going to have to wait for the next episode, though. I'll see you guys then.